This is the newer A7S field monitor. It's an external monitor that shows you what you're capturing on your camera. I picked up this monitor because I found it was quite difficult to make sure everything was in focus with the built-in display on the Canon 7D that I shoot with, as that display is fairly low resolution and I can't move that around at all. So if I'm not stood behind the camera, I can't see what I'm shooting. The other reason I was drawn towards this was also the fact that it was fairly affordable compared to other field monitors and it had good specifications compared to other monitors and the reviews that I'd seen of it as well were very praising. This monitor is branded from newer but Lilliput also has an identical monitor so either brand will get you the same monitor if you're interested in picking it up. I will link both of them in the description. The monitor is constructed from plastic but comes with a silicon case fitted to protect it which comes fitted out of the factory but it is removable. The front of the monitor is a 7 inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 and this was one of the things that made me pick this monitor as many of the field monitors at this price bracket were only 720p and I wanted to make sure that I was getting something that was future proof. On the top of the monitor you'll find an additional tripod thread as there's also one on the bottom and you'll also find the power button, function buttons and menu navigation dial. The menu allows you to adjust necessary colour and brightness settings and overlays that you might use on the monitor and one important thing that you'll need to set if you're shooting on a DSLR like myself is to ensure that you've picked one of the DSLR options. There's a 5D Mark II option and a 5D Mark III option. Either of them work fine on my 7D. In regards to connectivity, there are two HDMI ports on the left hand side of the monitor, one for input and one acting as a pass through if you had something such as a video recorder or an additional field monitor. There is also a 12 volt DC connector if you want to use mains power, but there's no power cable for that included. And there's also a headphone jack on the top for monitoring audio. On the back of the monitor is space for battery power, which is useful for shooting outdoors or on location. Different bundles may include different batteries and mounting plates, but the bundle I got has two Sony MP550 batteries and also a charger. For the price that this monitor comes in at, it has quite a few good features. I'm not going to list them all here, but the ones that drew my attention were the focus peaking, that's extremely useful for manual focus. Essentially what it does is it will add a color overlay to the areas of the footage that are in focus. And the other feature that I liked was the histogram as that means that I can check my exposure and make sure nothing's overexposed or underexposed. As I previously mentioned, the display is 1920 by 1200, which is extremely good to have a full HD resolution preview, but it also supports 4K input, which is great for future proofing in case I want to upgrade to a 4K camera. But it's also really useful for people out there that are shooting with 4K cameras. One of the obvious things to consider is the display and I'm very impressed with the display on this field monitor. It is extremely sharp and clear and the colour representation is also very impressive. I wasn't expecting the best quality in the world but I'm pleasantly surprised. The display is glossy so there's that to consider if you're shooting outdoors but the display does get bright which is useful for when shooting in bright sunlight and there's also a sunshade included which velcros to the rubber case which can help block out sunlight. I've named quite a lot of the accessories already, those being the silicon case, sunshade and battery plates, but there are a few more to mention. In the box there's also a mini HDMI to HDMI cable, which will cover most DSLRs and there's also a hot shoe ball head mount for mounting the monitor to the hot shoe on your camera. The quality of that isn't amazing, but it gets the job done. So if you're a YouTuber or a beginner filmmaker or just a filmmaker that needs a budget option for a field monitor, then I'd highly recommend this. It seems like it's one of the best in the price bracket and it has a good design and the display is also very good. So that's been it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.